Oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Okay, three, two, one! Oh! White people! Mi Habchungo Tetong Yong and Ye Yere Pyoshamian so. Tomi Saye so. Yet again, the Americans sent off another blast, clearly threatening our republic. We have no choice but to meet this with swift and stern expression of anger. Oh, no, 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 we're just doing a gender reveal. It's a, we're having a baby boy, like, he, we're excited, I think we're gonna name him Adam. He said Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb? You're doing an Adam? No, no. This is a threat to the world, and you just started a nuclear war. No, all we want to do is just find out the gender and get a little bit of attention, so don't mind the wildfires and the catastrophic explosions. We just, well, it's the attention you got of our regime. You guys are screwed. Every week I get, I, I, there's a new gender reveal update every week. You guys love to send it to me. You know, people are, are literally out here dying from gender reveals. RIP. Um, what a way to go. We got people blowing up bombs. Now we got someone, some guy, you know, people are getting incarcerated. They're starting fires. They're blowing up stuff. I think that's, I saw, yeah, North Korea was trending on Twitter last week. I got to get off Twitter, man. I get on Twitter and it's just like, Here's an update on the worst things in the world. I, I've always made fun of the likes like, what are, what are these old people doing watching the news every day? You just get off of work and like, ooh, let's unwind with a little bit of tragedy. Eleven little boys thrown off of a the Hoover Dam. We are still locating the bodies. Let's talk to the families. Ah, this is so much. And you're just like, this is good TV. And I... Am I old? I'm so scared I'm getting old. I, um, you know, I still know the thing. Sheesh! That's bussin'. Sheesh! Hey, if you come to my show, give me a sheesh. If I hit a, if I hit a fire punchline, I want to hear four or five of my, my trace ideas out there just go, sheesh! That's a new thing. I've been telling Katie when, when they go, we have our uh, postponed wedding happening. I'm, tell, I'm telling all my boys, like, when they go, you may kiss the bride. All the old people are like, yeah. And you're just going to hear 37 30-year-olds who are balding and white <laughs> go, jeez. And it's going to, it's going to, I'm, that's the main, I'm very grateful COVID postponed my wedding. So the sheesh meme could be here and it's going to, that's going to celebrate my big day. But I, I'm staying very young. Let me. I'm. I fear that I'm getting old, but let's not kid ourselves. I'm an influencer of the of the kids. Okay, I don't. Okay, let's scratch that title. Actually, that sounded weird. I'm an influencer of the younger generations. Okay, I'm. I'm a beacon of youth. So, but I'm turning to that person. I get on Twitter. Why am I getting on Twitter? It just says stuff. So now it's like North Korea is trending, and they're like, I don't know. Just keep threatening to like blow up Earth. But I think, I think they're, I think they, maybe they were trending. They're like, we saw the explosive set off by, by the Americans. And let me just say, that was a grave mistake. And, you know, Biden's like, hey, uh, 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 uh we, that was a gender reveal. We did not. And then he falls upstairs. It's fine. You know, we got old presidents over here. Back to back oldies. A lot of old guys. But, I think that was, I think that's a, a concern for the Homeland Security is like, we got to get rid of all the blue and pink powder because this is going to be a problem. Nuclear warfare started by the H Hendricksons in Arkansas because they blew up a mound of pink dirt and the North Korea was like, that's it. That we've had enough of this. It's a girl. It's It's an atom bomb. It's a boy, son of Adam. Atom bomb. That's how it ends. That's how I think. So we need to tone those down. Uh, because <laughs> I think that's how it ends. North Korea is not playing games. They're really not. Um, he's got, I don't know, North Korea. <sighs> do you ever, what do you guys think about when you see a girl with Kim Jong-un hair? The straight across bangs. It's just not for me. Hey, shout out, you, you're free to do it. It's a free country, unlike that one. But Kim Jong, he kind of started the French. The straight across look. 
Um, he rocks it. I don't know if it's a weird world we live in when a when a Korean dictator has the same haircut as Madison. But that's a thing. I don't know. I I have a haircut. I, that's another thing. Do I? I think I need to do so, since I'm a beacon of youth. I need to get my TikTok boy here going. Check out the merch though. If you're watching this. Um, check out the Trey Kennedy Studios YouTube channel on Facebook. Vibes Are Up merch is coming this Friday. Because the vibes are so up. I'm rocking the tie-dye right now. We're dropping hoodies, t-shirts. Don't miss it. It's dropping Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific. Because the vibes are very up. Very up. So I'm very excited to drop that. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a slick little design. You wear it around town. People will be like, it's just, we're just positivity, baby. That's what I like to say. Um, but it's good to be back. We, uh, dude, we had, a f I can't wait. I'm going to let y'all know. You're my people. Some of you know, we had a great shoot the other day. All time shoot. We had 10 actors in this shoot. Cause you guys know, typically it's just me, Jake, maybe my boy, Derek. And we're just, we're firing out videos, but every now and then, we had inspired you guys see my girls in the fall videos. We travel across the country. We go all out. This video, I don't know if you've seen my, I teased it on my story. I We had a legit wedding dress. I had actors. We had a venue. A whole shoot day. I'm telling you. Um, love to hear your guesses what you think is happening. But whew, it is going to be big time. Hoping to put that on the next few weeks. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Vibes are up. But we're uh, vibes are very up in the studio, man. Appreciate y'all listening, listening to correct opinions. Come out to the show. We're going to Greenville, South Carolina next week. So get tickets, TreyKennedy.com slash tour. Uh, shoot me a DM if you come to the show. Because, uh, yeah, it's fun to get on the road, man. I got back from good old Connecticut. I don't know why I'm in Connecticut so much. I had a show in New Haven again. Uh, people call it Gun Gunwave in New Haven. Didn't know that. I thought it was Yale. Apparently it's a it's a scary place. Yale, maybe that goes hand in hand. Yale's also a scary place. It's very smart, rich people. Oh, the bad people. But I got some pizza while I was up there, which is good. And I did a show in a parking lot with a bunch of kids in folding chairs and masks outside. And that's always a journey. But it was good. The kids were good. We had a good time. We really did. Um... No one sheeshed me, which is a bummer, but no one shushed me. A very difference between a sheesh and a shush. I'm always going for shishos. No shush shows. Had a good time. It's good to be back. And like I said, yeah, we got, got my wedding coming up. Postpone one. Vibes are very up. Vibes are very up. So let's get into uh, let's get into today's episode for real, for real. I we haven't done baby names in a while. Crazy white baby names. Q jingle. Uh, okay. Thank you for that jingle. But while this is Correct Opinions, episode 86, cue, cue intro music. Correct Opinions. Mm. Mm. Correct yeah. Opinions. <laughs> okay, I couldn't have gotten more DMs from a certain famous baby name. These are always good when they come up. Um, a young lady who I'm a fan of. A lot of you might know her. A lot of people are a fan of Sadie Robertson. Robertson. I don't know if there's a T in there. I hate when names do that. When it's like, uh, yeah, Roberson versus Robertson. Robertson. Just, it doesn't matter. I put the T, I put the, it's the same thing. They, she had a lovely child. Congrats to her. A little old girl, I think. And... They named her Honey. I don't like that. <clears throat> I don't like. I don't like it. But I'm sure they're happy. And she she gave us a little Bible verse that says something like words are like honey, and that was the reasoning. And that's the bet. I wish people. I wish more white people would say this is our child. Um, uh, fescue. I'm like, oh, are you? Do you like lay sod for a living? Like, no. I just heard that word once and I like it. Thank you. I appreciate that more than you trying to trick me into liking a name I don't. When you know, this is our, this is our daughter, sodium. 
so 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 like the the element so because this look at this one bible verse out of the tens of thousands it says we are salt of the earth so i like that so we went with sodium oh are you feels like you're trying to trick me into now liking that name that is sodium dumb <laughs> okay i that name is sodium ridiculous and you're not gonna trick me because you know what it's like everyone likes salt all right i like salt <laughs> not as a name that makes me salty negative connotation um i saw <laughs> just like any wait i should look these up i was just looking up like any bible verse in the world that says something as the apple tree among the as the apple tree among the trees of the wood so is my beloved among the sons. That's a Bible verse. So this is our boy Johnny Appleseed. Jones. His middle his middle name is Appleseed. He has a double name. We're from Alabama. Please call him Johnny Appleseed Jones. Because we found this is in Lamentations. I don't like I don't like that. I don't like it. Um just any any Bible any Bible verse simile in the world, it'll get you something. Bible verse simile. Yeah, I know what similes mean. Let's look this up here. Um, 62 similes in the Bible. Let's go with this. Here we go. Deuteronomy says, The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are just. So that's why I'm Dwayne The Rock Johnson! Coming to theaters this summer. The Rock versus... COVID-19. Ha! Be the hardest worker in the room. Ha <laughs> ha! Where's Kevin Hart? He's small enough to get down on a molecular level and stop the virus. Ha ha ha! We'll have some zany times because I'm really big and he's really tiny. Ha 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 ha! The Rock! Iron Paradise! He looks Samoan! Oh! Coming to fall. It will... This... The movie broke, broke box office records, making a billion dollars off of really bored people who are dumb. What else we got? Um, oh, a lot of rock ones. We can see a lot of Rockies or something. Um, Shepherd. People have been named Shepherd. That's another one. Um. He will give you another helper, and he may be with you forever. So we're going to name our little boy Helper. That's happened somewhere. You know it has. Then with a, Who names your kids Helper? You need a helper. A professionally trained one. Because you're not fit. What are you? These poor kids. I can't wait to see. I just, if anyone's like has a family name to this day, like if you name your kid, you know. John. 18 years, people are like, John, John, how do you... They'll have to go by another name. Like, we haven't even heard of this. John, John, June, John? Fine. Yeah, if it's easier, just call me Sparrow. Sorry. It's a family name. Um, so that was a great one. I think we got some other cra crazy white baby names sent in. What, you guys email me, correctopinions at trachinia.com. We check it. We love it. We get a good old giggle out of them. You guys send really good ones. Um, we have a little girl here named. This was sent in by Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. Baby announcement. I tested positive, but not for COVID. <laughs> Flon Flonoy Martin is due in October. I tested positive, but not for COVID. <laughs> Sorry to all those people who didn't got really sick or lost their lives. But I want to make a little joke. And Flonoy is coming. Flonoy. Sounds like a weird deviation from the progressive lady. Crazy white baby names. Hey, Trey. My name is Adrian. What's up, Adrian? Thanks for emailing. Big fan of the podcast. Thank you. Um, we have, she sent me, uh, I came across some crazy white baby names and attached a screenshot. Um, you have permission to say my name on the podcast. 
Well, thank you for that. Because I already said it. Thank you for all the laughs. Um, we're coming to see you in Cleveland. Hey, vibes are up. Thank you, Adrian. She sent me the screenshot. It looks like a little, um, some church somewhere screenshot giving you a break, little bio on the pastors. Noah and Stephanie have a heart to see a church that lives out the kingdom of God. They're committed to being a part of a church that holds the T. <laughs> uh, Noah's originally from Milwaukee. Stephanie from Canton. They met at school in Oklahoma, got married, and have been serving together ever since. They have three kids. Drum roll, please. <laughs> they have three kids. Noah. S a Christian. Stephanie. Their three kids. Paisley. Bear. And Sunday. And they want to see the work God worked through the church and dead. Paisley Bear and Sunday. Let's break that down. Sunday. Very Christian. I guess that's the whole purpose. What time, what day we meet on church again? Sunday? That's kinda of, yeah. It's bear. Um Bear is uh what are the last names? Oh, last names are Nickel. Whoa! Bear Nickel. Bear Nickel? That just, that sounds like a slur. I'm a bear Nickel. Barnacle. His name's, oh my gosh, his name's Barnacle. <laughs> oh, dude, when you, kids are so funny and creative, man. They're so funny. You know what I'm saying? They're so funny. I was talking to some gal friends of mine recently. And this girl's name was like Tracy. She's like, yeah, every, all the girls in middle school call me, call me Tortilla Tracy. <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> really mean. It's pretty, it's pretty funny, though. It's really funny. Barnacle. Bear Nickel. Hi, I'm Bear Nickel. Barnacle. Hi, I'm Bear Nickel. Barnacle. That's the worst one yet. <laughs> I'm Bear Nickel. I can't get over that. Sunday Nickel? Sunday Nickel. Sun, Sunday Nickel. Par pa Parsley? Paisley. Paisley Nickel. Paisley Nickel. Paisley the Nipple. Free the Nipple. Ah, so thank you guys for that, sending that in. Really appreciate that. That's another version of Crazy White Baby Names. Bill and Melinda Gates call it quits. Bill Gates been married, I think, what is this, 27 years. And they announced he's getting a divorce. Oh, real convenient, William Gates. Right when you're about to take over the world because you're about to control everyone. A lot of vaccines. You're like, finally time to ditch this dead weight. My takeover has begun. That's a bad look. For the conspiracy theorist, Bill. He saw his window. And he went through it. Or, I don't know. That's, But, more realistically, I don't know. I guess I just called it quits. They're a very charitable couple. You know, big fan of Bill Gates products. Microsoft Paint was really fun when I was bored in high school. Um, you know, they, they like feed a lot of people. Very rich man. They called it quits. A lot of years. Bezos got divorced. I don't know. Something about having $600 billion probably makes your life a little complicated. So we're not going to judge too much, but um, sad to see him go. You know what? We never want to see that. Um, divorce rate is very high. Okay. I don't know. I don't It's probably, I don't know what's higher between. It's probably, probably a close match for high divorce rate or high fail rate between billionaires and bachelor nation. Probably go hand in hand. Um, if there's ever a billionaire from Bachelor, just don't even go on the show. <laughs> That's not um, as much. I'd love to see Elon um, on a group date. Can you, imagine, can you imagine Elon on the Bachelor? What's up, man? I'm Bradley. I'm a real estate agent, which basically just means I work for myself and I've hardly closed a deal. I have a lot of free time and I'm on the show. I have an eight pack and. I spend more time trying to talk to girls at bars than trying to pick up clients. Hello, I am Elon. I am the founder and CEO of multiple um, 
Fortune 500 companies, and I am... I uh, I have a little free time between my launches to the moon. I mean, Mars. I am currently... Um, really excited to meet Claire, and I think that we could really find a connection, and she would, as long as she is down to, you know, I, I think she's from Iowa, I plan to settle down on another planet, so I'm hoping she's willing to uproot her life a little bit, um, and kind of move home with me. I, I also would gift her all the, all the, I would spare no expense with her. I'd give her all the gold and on all the asteroids and the asteroid belt. As long as she's willing to be a mother to my child. Twelve. He like gets in, they do like one-on-one -on -one dates. Today we are going bungee jumping. And he's like, based on my calculations, we should go at a velocity of 28 miles, but I'm like, Elon, I like Elon, like he feels he's smart, but he just, he seems like, like chill. Hmm, <laughs> the hot tub. The molecular warmth of the water is inspiring me. If we could heat up the metal that surrounds our atmosphere, we could better insulate the ozone and thus bought thus mine more bitcoin like okay can we just talk about like an x you have in your life i don't really i'm not i'm not on this level elon uh elon i think he's married i don't know i guess he's married yeah he is married so props to him. i hope it works out for him yeah that's how they get divorced she just wasn't willing to we honeymooned in saturn and she wasn't she didn't like it what interferes with your uh, happiness? Maybe is it something a little called anxiety? <laughs> oh yeah, we love that. But BetterHelp is here to help and it will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Not just anxiety too. They got depression, sleep problems, trauma, you name it. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. I've done therapy before. I'm a big fan. BetterHelp's changing the game. It's convenient. It's affordable. Uh, I love BetterHelp. You're gonna love it too. Come on, people. Get our mind. Let's get our minds healthy. We you deserve it, baby girl. Okay. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp. They're recruiting uh, additional counselors in all 50 states. This is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Send a message to your counselor anytime. You'll get timeful and uh, and and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions, and all without having to wait in a darn waiting room. Right. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and there's also financial aid available. You're going to love it. Um, I guarantee it. You guys need to try it. I have an offer for you guys. Like I said, I want you to start living a help, happier life today. As a listener to Correct Opinions, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash correct. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. When it comes to your car and home insurance, don't we deserve better? I know I do. I put my policy to test and uh, I turned to Gabby. They literally stand for get a better insurance. G-A-B-I. Get it? Okay. Uh, getting better insurance with Gabby means better price for the same insurance coverage. Uh, how, don't we want that? They give you an apples-to-apples -apples comparison of your current coverage with 40 of the top insurance providers like Progressive, Nationwide, Travelers, etc., all in one place. If you're like me, I was like, oh, I need car insurance? That's an adult thing. I don't know how to do that. And I just bought the first thing. I was like, I'm done. But Gabby makes it easy. You get on their website. You you use the quote. So it's free. They just compare it. And you're like, oh, I can get that. But for less money? Thanks, Gabby. I went to Gabby.com. Put in what I currently pay for insurance, and I mean, they immediately gave me a bunch of options. I could be saving like over seven hundred bucks a year. It's unbelievable. It took like five seconds. It's amazing. Gabby customers save nine hundred and sixty-one dollars per year on average. That's a lot of money, and they'll never sell you. They'll never sell your info. So no annoying, uh, no annoying spam or robocalls. Call to action. Here you go, my listeners. Support the show. Do this. Put your policy to the test, like I did. Get a better insurance with Gabby. It's totally free to check, and there's no obligation. Go to Gabby.com slash Trey. That's G-A-B-I dot com slash Trey. Gabby.com slash Trey. Okay, several people sent me this. Um, Cracker Barrel. If you haven't been there, you gotta. It's a great place. 
Feels like they'll need to change their name at some point, but it's a it's just the good old country store. You go there, you get some sweet pe- 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 mm, sweet tea, and you know a big cut of ham, and on your way out, maybe get some Tic Tacs and a and a whoopee cushion. I mean, it just feels like grandma's house. Um, someone sent me this. Someone, some waitress did a little little sh- dinner and a show here. Did a little singing at Cracker Barrel. I haven't listened to this yet. I wanted to wait to do a live reaction here on the pod. So let's let's take a listen. Whoa! What? Oh my goodness. Go off, Diane. Yo, that was not expecting that. She looks like a waitress or cracker barrel. Not, you know, not to stereotype, but um, her name is probably, uh, you know, Linda May. And she looks like she grew up in Iowa. And she sounds like. Uh, Madonna. She sounds like uh, oh, what's her name? She won American Idol. What's her n- Fantasia or something? And it's what's great is like if she did that, if she popped into a wing stop and did that, there'd be there'd be black folks running up and down the block. They'd wor- they'd run outside, they'd run back inside. They'd just start filling up their cup with soda. Just ah! and then she she just deserves more. She's at a Cracker Barrel and there's like a guy in overalls going. All right, I, need, I do need that gravy though. She's going off. Happy birthday! I'll never forget. I was at a Chili's once as a kid. One of the first days, one one of the first times, like in seven or eight. One of the first times it opened my eyes that maybe, uh, maybe the outside of this this white bubble, there was better thing. I saw this all black family at Chili's, and they're like, "It's their birthday," and you know me, I I was seven. I'd only heard. Okay, someone start us off. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> Uncle Daryl always does that. Happy birth. I was at Chili's and said, Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Come on. Happy birthday. Woo! Some big woman stood up and she was like, I was scared, but I was excited. I was like, Dad, 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 can you can I do that for my birthday next year? He's like, No, so we're going to Red Robin, son. That doesn't happen. Okay, we did the hand we're dealt. Okay. Aunt Becky is just gonna sing off pitch. It's not gonna be you're gonna you're gonna eat bland chicken and you're gonna have a have a powdery powdered mixed cake. And we're gonna call it a night, and we're gonna give you another N64 game. But daddy, daddy, I want. But, oh, but that sounds so much more fun over there, and the food is so much better. And that what lady looks is really big, so her, her, you know, the food's from scratch and with lots of butter. That's just that woman. She needs to change jobs right now. Cracker Barrel. She goes viral, that's fine. If that woman goes and she takes a job waiting or tables at or you know a kickback, her tips are gonna quadruple. She's gonna put on a street. I mean, she just needs to work at Wingstop. Sing to every person that comes in a wing stop, game over. Cause you can't oh, man, I love wing stop. Shout out wing stop. All right, it's been a minute. Let's do another dramatic reading. How about that? Uh, you guys DM me. Uh, also, always DM the correct opinions Instagram. Follow it. We got clips. We got good times. Um, someone sent me a, a particularly fantastic 
little post. I gotta get some, uh, I gotta get some, obviously some inspiring music going because that's the vibe. And we're gonna dive in because this one is particularly beautiful. It's particularly dramatic and it's particularly do lessy. Um, so please enjoy. Without further ado, another dramatic reading. I keep looking at these babies and thinking about an Irish blessing that was displayed in my childhood home. May the road to rise up to meet you. May the mind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. End Irish blessing. I need a point. Okay. Yes, it is hard for me to let these babies go. So many of you have asked not only how the mom is, is mama is, not only how the babies are, but how I am. So let's chat about that. One thing to understand is that from the moment of conception, I never view the baby as mine. If it's rain and I don't feel like walking mama, I remember that I am the steward of another family's member. I am keenly aware that I am the keeper of hopes and dreams, and that they are bound up in the health of our mama. It's a huge responsibility. Once they are born, my mind immediately begins processing the details of each family. For the next eight weeks, they are, ne they are ever in my thoughts. Babies, 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 babies. I am the keeper of dreams. I am the keeper of dreams. I sound. I am. What, are we, what am I in a Final Fantasy video game? I am the keeper of hopes and dreams. Mama is. I must walk Mama. Paraphrasing. I ask the babies countless times whose family they are meant to become a part of. Every time I hold one, I'm filtering that baby's developing temperament through the dynamics of each family. Because our Nickelberry families are so heavy on my mind for so many weeks, my excitement for them vastly exceeds any sadness I feel in saying goodbye. I am all in with them. Already I am imagining what it would be like to place Gracie into her mama's arms at the airport. Imagining Coco snuggling with her little humans. Imagining Bondi running to his parents on the beach. They were never mine to begin with. They were just in my care until they are ready to arrive at their final destination. Yes, I will miss them, but my heart bursts knowing the way in which these puppies are going to change the lives of nine families. Holy crap, it's about dogs. No sadness can compete against the overwhelming joy of Adoption Day. To you nine families, thank you. What an honor to be the one that brought your babies into this world. You didn't, unless you're a dog. To be the first voice they heard to enter the sacred space of the whelping box. What does that mean? To you puppies, may the rose ride up to meet you. What's the whelping box? That feels like a weird. Is that dog? That dog pee in the house again? Put him. Put him in the whelping box. It's a mini fridge. We hollowed out and we beat the sides of it with a broom. What is the whelping box? Could you imagine? Could you imagine adopting a dog? It's like, hey, I saw this on Craigslist. I heard you got a like a uh, a border collies puppies. We, you know, like 250 bucks. Can we grab one? She's like, oh, so you're here. <sighs> the day has come. <laughs> you're here to pick up Bondi. I've, I've nurtured her from the very day. Let me assure you, she was never mine. She was always yours from the day she was birthed out of me. And I walked Mama. And I fed, I birthed them and I fed them with my body. That's why we call them Bondi, because I we bondied with our, my body. 
let me just get her out of the whelping box and she's all yours. You're like, I'm good, actually. I'm going to go to the pound and get one of these crazy dogs instead <laughs> that is scared of squirrels. Man. Rescue dogs. Shout out to that. Well, shout out to people who get rescue dogs. Um, it is really like, you got a special heart to do that. You ever been to someone's house and you're like, oh, hey, this is little Rufus. And the dog's like, oh, and it like runs in a corner and they're like, he's a rescue. And you're like, got it. No. I'll keep my distance. Holy cow. I don't know. That's what's scary, dude. It's like, what have these dogs been through? Ooh, maybe a whelping box. And I, she's like, before before you take off with little Bondi, may to say an Irish blessing over her. Like, no, you psychopath. Go. You need to get in a cage. What is it? Just let it. It's a dog. Let us out of here. No, no, no. I must. If you'd allow me. Um, one more limerick to my special one. <laughs> Wait, what's a, what's a limerick again? Um, it, it's a limerick example. I'm going to make it. We're gonna, let's make a limerick. What's the structure of a limerick? Five lines. It rhymes A-A-B-B-A. Thank you for taking little Bondi. That's Australian. Thank you for taking Bondi. For eight weeks, I fed her with my body. Thank you for allowing me to say. One more blessing. I'm going to miss having her nestled up in my bosom. Finessing. my chest goodbye Bonte <laughs> woo I'd be like I'm gonna find a new place to get a dog thank you and that's been another dramatic reading thank you I'm gonna miss you my babies but you were never mine you were always mine Belong to this affluent family who goes to the beach. They're gonna spend too much money on this little baby. I need some more hobbies. Goodbye, Bondi. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Also, happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, I, I'd, I don't know. Are we celebrating that? I've never really done. I guess I have before, but I don't know where that's at. I. Cinco de Mayo. I mean, any anyone else worn out from their May the 4th be with you celebration? <sighs> Tell you what. Yeah, right. Like I, like I can get a sombrero on. My arms are too sorry from swinging the lightsabers. Star Wars. A lot of hot takes on this. Or another unpopular opinion segment. Batman. Mm, Star Wars. As a kid, loved it. Watch it again. Not, a, not as much. I mean, we, we really kind of glossed over like the whole like oh brother and sister made out like should we when they revealed that should we have been like what was that the whole thing because they did they were like oh we released a movie four five six then one two three and the whole point of that was to kind of you know trick you a little bit slack was some sick trick to get me to watch a little incestual behavior that was weird you're like oh yes they finally kiss her yes they're in love oh i love them as a couple and then you watch you're like so we're going to see what like, happened beforehand. And it's like, I'm your father, which means brother, si their sibling. I feel like too many of us were like, oh, no way, he's the father? Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's the sister? Okay, let's just not think about that part. If you didn't know, yeah, that's, what, that's what's revealed in Star Wars. Brother, sister, kissing. Blech. That was, I can't do stuff. I did it for me. You know, we're already, you got lightsabers and who knows what you got. Dude, I'm the father. I wonder if like uh, Star Wars, like Star Wars was the original kind of Jerry Springer, Maury vibes. You are the father. No, no. Luke, 
You, he is your father. No! Wow! Yes, your sister. You look too much alike. I think that's a big red flag. If you are, look at it right now. Or if you know people, it is a thing. Half, half the weddings this happens. You go to the wedding. I think I've been about this before. Like, oh, is he marrying his sister? Because they look a lot alike. We might have a Star Wars situation on our hands. <laughs> I am your father. Oh, uh, who gets to keep the golden doodle? It's weird. It's, I mean, I'm just saying, dude, I've, 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 back in my dating days, I feel like there's one or two times some, I had someone be like, I need to set you up with this girl. I'm like, oh, her? I'm related to her. Look at her. We look the same. No. I swear that's out of me. It's like, hey, we, we know this girl. I think it'd be great together. We'd like to set you up. Oh. Tell her I'll see her at the family reunion. No. We look the same. We look exactly the same. Same, same eye color, same hair color, white, same, no. I don't know. I'm, it's not wrong, but it's, you're running, a, you're playing a dangerous game. That is all I'm saying. You're, you're playing a Star Wars game. You're already, you're going to already run into enough storms as a couple. We don't need to add a stormtrooper. You feel me? We don't, you know, we're already dealing with enough X's. We don't need to hop on an X wing and go kissing your bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Interracial interracial marriages are less and less frowned upon. Love that. I think they're ahead of the curve. Like, I know I'm not related to you. This is good. All I'm saying. Um, yeah, Star Wars. May the 4th. We got Cinco de Mayo. Anyone's plans this? I personally love margaritas. I love the Mexican people. I've uh, been to Mexico several times. Love the resorts. And, uh, yeah, happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. They just, we're making holidays of everything. May the 4th be with you. If you celebrated that, that's okay. Uh, here's the guarantee, though. You, you, you can't celebrate both, right? If you celebrate May the 4th be with you, you're not going to be invited to the Cinco de Mayo parties. And uh, if you get together for Cinco de Mayo... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't listen. I, I've, I used to like Star Wars. I'm not going to front. Did I go to midnight premiere of Star Wars once? Yes. Were there Mexican people there? Were there Japanese people there? Were there Caucasian people there? Yes. And that's midnight premieres very white people activity yeah mark that down like I'm gonna watch him I'm gonna wait up and watch a movie at midnight instead of waiting another 14 hours I can't do that man I would go there and I went to the Harry Potter premiere all my friends were going I don't want to be left out I watched all the Harry Potters in a week so I knew what was going on I can't tell you a thing about the movies I think I half watched it I just can't you know Harry Potter was tough. He's got a Kim Jong Un haircut a little bit, and he's down there doing his magic too. And he's got all sorts of explosives at the palm of his hands. I, when you think about it, what are you really watching? That's propaganda. Episode eighty six. A little wild. Derek's not here today. Um, he's on vacay. It's fine. So things got weird. I need Derek's guidance. He needs to return. We'll show his face <laughs> on the Patreon maybe one day. Join Patreon. We're giving away money all the time. Patreon.com slash Trey Kennedy. And Vibes are up merch. Get it this Friday. We love you guys. My 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 Trace my 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 smell good recties. Uh, another great pot in the books. Thank you for watching. Please give it a review. Share it with a friend. Tell us what you think. I appreciate y'all. Have a great week. Do less God bless. Peace. Correct opinion.